McDonald's, I'm loving it. E. coli. McDonald's quarter pounders and onions are making people sick. Be careful. Serious concerns today coming out of McDonald's. An E. coli outbreak has led to multiple illnesses across the US and tragically one person has lost their life. The CDC is now investigating the outbreak which has been linked to certain menu items at the fast food chain. McDonald's is working very closely with health officials and has even paused serving some products at specific locations just as a precaution. While they've expressed their condolences to the affected families, many are now questioning the chain's food safety practices. What do you think? Will this make you think twice before visiting McDonald's or do you believe they'll fix the issue quickly? McDonald's has an E. coli outbreak. Let's talk about it. E. coli is a kind of bacteria. It's very common. It's found in our food, water, environment, and in our GI tracts. E. coli is usually very harmless, but there are some strains that are a little bit more harmful to human health, like the one that was found in McDonald's. Food itself will get contaminated with an E. coli strain if the E. coli from a cow's GI tract were to end up on the other side i.e. no longer in their GI tract. <laughs> this can happen in the case of vegetables if they're using um, compost that has manure in it, for instance. In the case of ground beef, it could happen during the slaughter process. It could happen just poor hygiene. You will know if you have an infection within three to four days that some symptoms appear. It's usually vomit, diarrhea, sometimes fever, and typically some pretty bad stomach pains. As you can see from this map, Colorado has the highest number of cases so far. Nebraska, Wyoming, and Utah had the second highest, and then all those other green states are also impacted. McDonald's has removed the potential contaminants from their menu in several states. It might expand, it might not. If you think that you could be infected, please contact your healthcare provider. Let me know what you want to talk about next. It seems like McDonald's is having some big issues right now. A lot bigger issues than the Trump visit over the last weekend. They are dealing with a E. coli outbreak across several states in the middle part of the country. And it's coming from their quarter pounder sandwiches and more specifically the onions, sliced onions they put on top of the burgers. That seems like where the E. coli could be coming from, most likely, but there could be other factors here. But it's it's McDonald's. I, I mean, they're having big issues right now. Their sales keep dropping, their stock keeps dropping, because there's just nothing good out of McDonald's right now. I, I mean, sure. I mean, I went, I, went, I went to my first McDonald's visit in a couple of months recently just to use some of the reward points I had before they expired. And I, it just reminded me that the food tastes horrible. McDonald's needs a major overhaul before they face some major issues. It's a deadly E. coli, e. coli Coca-Cola outbreak going on right now with McDonald's and their quarter pounders. And it's deadly. So all you big bat MFers out there that want to take y'all behind to McDonald's and order a number two, two A, two B, two C, double quarter pounder with cheese and bacon. Yeah. You can forget about the heart attack. It's the coli you gotta worry about now. Y'all better get the bundles, get the bundles. Get the bundles like these bitches, that's all I'm saying. Cause the quarter pounder with cheese, no lettuce, no onions, no pickles, add mayonnaise. It's gonna take y'all out of here. So you mean to tell me that it's just quarter pounders that have E. coli? When they say McDonald's meat, so my Big Mac is different meat. Now McDonald's has E. coli in their burgers where one person died and 59 people were sickened. I don't eat the Quarter Pounder, but I recently did eat McDonald's. I tried their new chicken Big Mac and I got breakfast. I got like an Egg McMuffin or something like that. That's normally what I get from McDonald's. I didn't feel sick afterwards, but I normally don't eat um, a quarter pounder. If I do go to get like something like a burger, it's going to be a McChicken or a double cheeseburger. Or if they have like the deals, like sometimes I might get a Big Mac, but I don't like the quarter pounder. So for me, I've always thought it was nasty. I had it once, thought it was nasty. And at the most, like I said, double cheeseburger or McChicken, the cheap stuff. I don't eat nothing else from there. And usually I only eat it if I'm in like a pinch or like I, I need, like I'm in a, a rush or something I need or on the road and I, there's nothing else there, so.
Man. I really, really want some McDonald's french fries, but that E. coli got me shook. Nope. Can't do it.